I am Alexander Wentworth, and I am uh, a founding member of the band Milfoil. So originally, I had the idea that I wanted to be in a band, but uh, I needed some collaborators, and I asked my high school friend Joe if he wanted to be in a band with me, um, and he obliged. Despite uh, a couple rough uh, him not being around spots, uh, we've managed to keep the band together. We started in my bedroom. We would just move like the mattress out of the way and we'd have just enough room for a guitar amp and a drum kit. Um, and we would record onto my laptop. Um, it was very raw but it was just so that we could get the, uh, the idea of the songs down. We had a couple people uh, during freshman year who helped us out, uh, but right now we have bassist Josh DeQuinto, guitarist Peter Borzellino, and drummer Jack Hellman to accompany us, uh, as well as Joe and I in the band, which really gives it a fuller sound. Style is really hard to define. Um, a lot of people uh, in the band like to consider us sort of uh, alt-emo, I guess you could say. Uh, we have some punk aspects. Um, definitely rock. Rock's the biggest component I think we have. What does a typical practice look like? <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say just setting up, uh, setting up everything probably takes like half an hour. Um, trying to get everybody to shut up and uh, then we just basically run whatever set of songs that we have planned for the next gig um, and we keep working at it until we're really uh, on point. I think we've had every practice in Cheney except for uh, one at Josh Jaquinto, the bassist's uh, garage. Uh, and I, yeah, I don't think we've had practice anywhere else. After a very brief hiatus in October, uh, we are having a gig on November 9th at the Jaffrey VFW, and that might be our biggest show yet. So I'm very excited for that. Uh, the album is called No Sharp Objects. It came out in April 17th, uh, 2019, and you can find it basically anywhere you look online. There is YouTube, Spotify, Amazon, Prime. Um, yeah, yeah, pretty much anywhere. The album is, originally it was supposed to be a concept album, um, and it is, but loosely. Um, essentially what had happened was I was in a very rough place in my life, uh, relationship-wise, and every song um, that I wrote was uh, reflective of how I felt at the time, at the different stages of the relationship. And uh, Joe also contributed a couple songs that fit really nicely into the album as well. Uh, right now, we are about to start working on a more thorough, thought out, uh, maybe a little more melodic album. Um, and we also have the opposite of that coming along as well, a uh, much more abrasive uh, punk-based album. Uh, and then, uh, farther down the line, we are planning on working on a cover album where everybody in the band picks out two songs and we try to replicate them. My personal biggest influences uh, when I started the band were Green Day, Weezer, Third Eye Blind, well, I'll say Somos. Somos was a big one as well. Please listen to No Sharp Objects on Spotify because that's what y'all use. Um, I greatly appreciate it and I think it's pretty good. So. Yay. Are we done here? Jeez. Cut. <laughs>